Hi everyone, this is Sherry. I am here to do a tutorial on how I make my roses. This is the rose that I'm going to be showing you how to make. I actually found um, this on my uh, Cric Cricut um, Design Space and it cuts out, there's six different or seven different petals, I think. Yeah, there's seven different size petals that it cuts out. And what I do is I cut them out, then I take take it on my little makeup brush and I ink the edges here of, <clears throat> of this. I just start inking it. And so that's how I do, do that. So after I cut them out, I cut 10 out this time because I'm going to make 10 flowers and I just I have it all done in stages so the video doesn't take so long <clears throat> so the first thing you do after you cut them out you have to ink the edges and I'm I did not I mean I'm sure most of you know how to ink edges so and then you take your petals and what I do is I oops I need this one no that's the wrong one this one <laughs> And I just row, turn them over on the back, <clears throat> and I row the things like that, and then I touch the middle like that. So what I what you're gonna do? This is I'm gonna make two. I'm gonna show you how to do two of them like this. And I didn't want to have to take so long. Like I said, I wanted to make sure that. I had plenty of time and the video wouldn't be super long. So what you do, you take the four largest ones. This is what I'm doing here. I'm taking my four largest <clears throat> petal. I mean, yeah, I guess you would call these petals. And then I'm going to stack them like this. <clears throat> Come on, stop. Of course, it's going to flip around when I'm sitting here trying to do a video. So, and what I do, I use these pads all the time, and I take, I use my Dry's Clear, um, and then I take these like this, and put a little dab of glue. You don't need a lot of glue to put these together, because this glue here especially is so nice. And I take this, and I push it down in the middle like this <clears throat> and then so that's how you start stacking them you know so I showed you how to roll them now let me show you so each one of these I will do and I will show you how to do a complete one in a minute because I have all these rolled but it's just really easy you just take the glue and start stacking them good I am in my so that's how I do that so that's the beginning and then you do the you roll these just like I just showed you out let me just finish it like I've been doing then I will <clears throat> so the next size and you stack from the largest, of course, is on the bottom, then the next size, the next size, and the next size. So, <clears throat> but it, it's time consuming, but it's also relaxing. I love to sit and, you know, make my flowers and do different. I do a lot of dyes too, but. This one here I like because I can cut out so many so fast on the Cricut. And yesterday when I was talking about in my video how I did my, you know, how I made six roses. It actually, by, by the time you cut, you ink all the edges, it is time consuming. It took me an hour for six roses but for to complete because you got to, you know, you got to cut them all out. Then you got to shape them, you ink them, shape them, put them all together. So it takes about a good hour to do that. So there's 
this. You want, I kind of offset the petals as you can see here, so they're so you can see. Can you see how they're offset on each layer? So this is the third layer, and then now this is the fourth layer. Again, the, this is so easy to do, and at least I think so. Some of you might not, you know, some of you just don't make flowers, but I do, and my favorite flowers to make are my sunflowers. Oh my goodness, I love making sunflowers. They are so pretty. When I get finished with them, I use... I have, I, I did find uh, a program on my Cricut that does sunflowers, but I do like my heartfelt that I bought, oh gosh, I don't know how many years ago I have their very first uh, um, die set, and I cut them out, and I do do that. Okay, now guys, the tricky part for this, um, I showed you how to do the layering. There's four layers there. Now to do the middle part, which is these layers right here, you take one of each, you have three different sizes, and you start with the smallest size. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna kind of bring my petals together into form this little thing like so, and then I take a little bit of <clears throat> my glue and just kind of on a couple of these and then I put them together like this you don't need a lot of glue on this part here because this is going to be you know you just kind of fold them together like so and as you go as you build it it'll these will wrap around then you take the next size and again you just kind of pull this all all down like so. Kind of need the smaller one here. Helps pull it better. Just kind of pull everything down towards the middle there. And again, now on this one, I put glue on all these little petals here. And then a little bit at the bottom because it's gonna, you're gonna stick the smaller one inside there like that. And then you're going to roll it and see how it's forming the little center of your rows. Don't worry about the glue because it does dry clear, but it holds so well. And then you do that again with the third one. You just kind of pull the petals together. So much fun. I just think this is... And of course, today is... July 8th and it's um hashtag pink with us I think it's called something I haven't done it for a while so that's why I chose to make the pink ones but then again do the same thing with this one put the glue in there and then you take this petal here push it down and you just start wrapping it around see how that's forming the center of your rows and you take your rows, put a dab right in the center here, and you take this, and you just set it in there. And then I just take one of my little things that's got the small in and stick it in there. See? And look at that, you guys. It's a pretty rose. And no two centers really turn out a lot like, so I really like that. But I like when you ink the edges how it kind of like, you know, it just kind of makes it really pretty. I use a darker color, but again, what I'm doing is I'm just like, I will do another one here. Oops, get this one. Oops, starting with the big one. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> we start always when you're doing the three for the center. Always start with the small. Always, it just you have to start with the small. That's all there is to it. 
so I just put glue on a couple of these little edges again. Let me show you one more time how easy it is. Like I said, your centers, you know, you're just wrapping them together like so. See? Kind of make your little center and get the next size. And again, you pull it off together like so. <clears throat> These little tools here come in so handy. I've had them for years and I use them all the time for rolling my flowers like this. I'm kind of messy when I make flowers. <laughs> But then you just put this in there uh, and roll it around and keep it there. And then you do it again with this one. And again, you, you can see it is a little time consuming, but it's fun. <laughs> and to bake your own flowers, you can, you know, do, do the size. What I like about this is you can make them the size if you want really tiny ones you can cut all these out smaller this rose i actually did cut out a little smaller than the ones i made for the project that i showed in yesterday's video <clears throat> so let's see if you then maybe sometimes add a little glue there just kind of roll it around Hope you guys are seeing this okay. Put a little dab in the middle. And you have another rose. So there. That's another rose. Again, you know, so easy to do. And so I hope this video helps on how I do it. Um, I just looked up, I'm, there wasn't a name for the file. It's just, uh, they were just a bunch of different size petals all together. And um, on the Cricut Design Space, I just typed in flowers and you will find there are so many flowers, but this one here, I like it because two of the edges are a little rig, ridged here, you know, just like and it makes it, the flower so pretty. So I hope you enjoy my video and my tutorial. And thanks for watching. And let me know what you think, okay? Let me know how you think, uh, you know, what you think of my roses. Um, be back soon. Bye, everyone.